Marvin Harris. 29 languages. Marvin Harris. Born the 17th of August, 1927. Brooklyn, New York, U.S. Died the 25th of October, 2001, aged 74. Gainesville, Florida, U.S. Alma Mater Columbia University. Known for contributions to the development of cultural materialism. Scientific career. Fields Anthropology. Institutions University of Florida. This article needs additional citations for verification. Please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. Find sources, Marvin Harris News Times Newspapers Times Books Times Scholar Times Chester, March, 2023, Learn how and when to remove this message. Marvin Harris, the 18th of August, 1927. The 25th of October, 2001, was an American anthropologist. He was born in Brooklyn, New York City. A prolific writer, he was highly influential in the development of cultural materialism and environmental determinism. 1. In his work, he combined Karl Marx's emphasis on the forces of production with Thomas Malthus's insights on the impact of demographic factors on other parts of the socio-cultural system, labeling demographic and production factors as infrastructure. Harris posited these factors as key in determining a society's social structure and culture. After the publication of The Rise of Anthropological Theory in 1968, Harris helped focus the interest of anthropologists in cultural ecological relationships for the rest of his career. Many of his publications gained wide circulation among lay readers. Over the course of his professional life, Harris drew both a loyal following and a considerable amount of criticism. He became a regular fixture at the annual meetings of the American Anthropological Association, where he would subject scholars to intense questioning from the floor, podium, or bar. He is considered a generalist, who had an interest in the global processes that account for human origins and the evolution of human cultures. In his final book, Theories of Culture in Postmodern Times, Harris argued that the political consequences of postmodern theory were harmful, a critique similar to those later developed by philosopher Richard Wallin and others. Early Career, Edit Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Being born just before the Great Depression, Harris was poor during his childhood in Brooklyn. He entered the U.S. Army toward the end of the Second World War and used funding from the GI Bill to enter Columbia University along with a new generation of post-war American anthropologists. Harris was an avid reader who loved to spend hours at the racetrack and he eventually developed a complex mathematical betting system that was successful enough to provide support for his wife, Madeline, and him during his years of graduate school. Harris' early work was with his mentor, Charles Wagley and his dissertation research in Brazil produced an unremarkable village study that carried on the Boasian descriptive tradition in anthropology, a tradition he would later denounce. After graduation, Harris was given an assistant professorship at Columbia and, while undertaking fieldwork in Mozambique in 1957, Harris underwent a series of profound transformations that altered his theoretical and political orientations. Theoretical Contributions, Edit 
Harry's earliest work began in the Boeseum tradition of descriptive anthropological fieldwork, but his fieldwork experiences in Mozambique in the late 1950s caused him to shift his focus from ideological features of culture toward behavioral aspects. His 1969 History of Anthropological Thought the rise of anthropological theory critically examined hundreds of years of social thought. With the intent of constructing a viable understanding of human culture that Harris came to call cultural materialism. 2. The book, affectionately known as The Rat Among Graduate Students, is a synthesis of classical and contemporary macro-social theory. Cultural materialism incorporated and refined Marx's categories of superstructure and base. Harris modified and amplified such core Marxist concepts as means of production and exploitation, but Harris rejected two key aspects of Marxist thought, the dialectic, which Harris attributed to an intellectual vogue of Marx's time, and unity of theory and practice which Harris regarded as an inappropriate and damaging stance for social scientists. Harris also integrated Malthus' population theory into his research strategy as a major determinant factor in socio-cultural evolution, which also contrasted with Marx's rejection of population as a causal element. According to Harris, the principal mechanisms by which a society exploits its environment are contained in a society's infrastructure, the mode of production, technology and work patterns, and population, such as population characteristics, fertility and mortality rates. Since such practices are essential for the continuation of life itself, widespread social structures and cultural values and beliefs must be consistent with these practices. Since the aim of science, Harris writes, is the discovery of the maximum amount of order in its field of inquiry, priority for theory. Building logically settles upon those sectors under the greatest direct restraints from the Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Givens of nature To endow the mental superstructure, ideas and ideologies, with strategic Priority, as the cultural idealist's advocate, is a bad bet Nature is indifferent to whether God Is a loving father or a bloodthirsty cannibal but nature is not indifferent to whether the fallow period in a Sweden, slash and burn, field is one year or ten. We know that powerful restraints exist on the infrastructural level, hence it is a good bet that these restraints are passed on to the structural and superstructural components. Harris 1979, 57 Harris made a critical distinction between emic and etic, which he refined considerably since its exposition in the rise of anthropological theory. The terms emic and etic originated in the work of missionary linguist Kenneth Pike, 3, despite the latter's conceptual differences with Harris. Constructs As used by Harris Imic meant those descriptions and explanations that are right and meaningful to an informant or subject, whereas etic descriptions and explanations are those used by the scientific community to germinate and force theories of socio-cultural life. That is, imic is the participant's perspective, whereas etic is the observer's. Harris had asserted that both are in fact Necessary for an explanation of human thought and behavior. 3. 4. Harris' early contributions to major theoretical issues include his revision of biological surplus theory. In obesity formation. He also became well known for formulating a materialist explanation for the 
Treatment of Cattle in Religion in Indian Culture 5. Along with Michael Hana, Harris is one of the scholars most associated with the suggestion that Aztec cannibalism was widespread and resulted from protein deficiency in their diet. 6. An explanation appears in Harris' book Cannibals and Kings. 7. Harris also invoked the human quest for animal protein to explain Yanomamo warfare. Contradicting ethnographer Napoleon Shagnon's socio-biological explanation involving innate male human aggressiveness. 8. Several other publications by Harris examine the cultural and material roots of dietary traditions in many cultures, including cows, pigs, wars, and witches. The Riddles of Culture, 1975, Good to Eat, Riddles of Food and Culture, 1998, originally titled The Sacred Cow and the Abominable Pig, and his co-edited volume, Food and Evolution, Toward a Theory of Human Food Habits, 1987. Harris Why Nothing Works, The Anthropology of Daily Life, 1981, originally titled America Now, The Anthropology of a Changing Culture, applies concepts from cultural materialism to the explanation of such social developments in late 20th century United States as inflation, the entry of large Numbers of women into the paid labor force, marital stability, and shoddy products. His Our Kind, Who We Are, Where We Are From, Where We Are, 1990, surveys the broad sweep of human physical and cultural evolution, offering provocative explanations of such subjects as human transsexualism and non-transsexualism and the origins of inequality. Finally, Harris' 1979 work, Cultural Materialism, The Struggle for a Science of Culture, updated and re-released in 2001, offers perhaps the most comprehensive statement of cultural materialism. A separate article lists the many and diverse publications of Marvin Harris. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Criticisms and Controversies, Edit While Harris' contributions to anthropology are wide, 9, it has been said that other anthropologists and observers had almost as many opinions about Dr. Harris as he had about why people behave as they do. The Smithsonian Magazine allegedly called him one of the most controversial anthropologists alive. The Washington Post described him as a storm center in his field, and the Los Angeles Times accused him of overgeneralized assumptions. 10. Harris could be an acerbic critic of other theories and frequently received return fire. Academic Career, Edit Harris received both his MA and PhD degrees from Columbia University, the former in 1949 and the latter in 1953. He performed fieldwork in Brazil and Portuguese-speaking Africa before joining the faculty at Columbia. He eventually became chairman of the anthropology department at Columbia. During the Columbia student campus occupation of 1968, Harris was among the few faculty leaders who sided with the students when they were threatened and beaten by the police. 11. During the 1960s and 1970s, he was a resident of Leonia in New Jersey. 12. Harris next joined the University of Florida Anthropology Department in 1981 and retired in 2000, becoming the Anthropology Graduate Research Professor Emeritus. Harris also served as the Chair of the General Anthropology Division of the American Anthropological Association. Harris was the author of 17 books. Two of his college textbooks, Culture, People, Nature, 
An Introduction to General Anthropology and Cultural Anthropology, were published in seven editions. His research spanned the topics of race, evolution, and culture. He often focused on Latin America and Brazil, 13, but also focused on the Islas de la Bahia, Ecuador, Mozambique, and India. Bibliography, edit. Main article, Marvin Harris Bibliography. Writings by Harris meant for the general public include. Harris, Marvin, 1975. Cows, Pigs, Wars and Witches, The Riddles of Culture. London. Hutchinson. ISBN 0-09-122750X. Reissued in 1991 by Vintage, New York. 1977. Cannibals and Kings, The Origins of Cultures. New York, Vintage. ISBN 0-394. 40,765 2. 1987. Why Nothing Works The Anthropology of Daily Life. New York, Simon and Scuster. ISBN 0 671 63577 8. Previously published in 1981 as America Now, The Anthropology of a Changing Culture. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 1990. Our kind, who we are, where we came from, where we are going. New York. HarperCollins forward slash Harper Perennial. ISBN 0-06-091990-6. Nineteen ninety eight. Good to Eat Riddles of Food and Culture. Illinois, Waveland Press. ISBN one five seven seven six six zero one five three. Originally published in nineteen eighty five by Simon and Scuster, reprinted in nineteen eighty seven by Simon and Scuster as the Sacred Cow and the Abominable Pig. More academically oriented works include Harris, Marvin, 1968 The Rise of Anthropological Theory, A History of Theories of Culture New York, Thomas Y. Cromwell Company ISBN 0-690-70322-8 1979 Cultural Materialism the Struggle for a Science of Culture. California, Altamira. Press. ISBN 0-394-41240-0. Ross, Eric B., eds. 1987. Food and Evolution, Towards a Theory of Human Food Habits. Philadelphia, Temple University Press. ISBN 0-87722-668-7 Death, Sex, and Fertility, Population Regulation in Pre-Industrial and Developing Societies New York, Columbia University Press 1999 Theories of Culture in Postmodern Times California Altamira Press. ISBN 0-7619. 9020 8. References, Edit. 1 Carrot Clayton, Michael, the 26th of April, 2018. The Song Remains the Same, A Review of Harris Free Will. Perspectives on Behavior Science. 41. 26536562 forward slash s 40614 2 ISSN 2520 8969 
PMC 6701738. 2 Carat Harris, M. 2001, 1968. The Rise of Anthropological Theory, A History of Theories of Culture. London, Altamira Press. ISBN 0-7591-0133-7. 3 Carat A. B. C. Moore Smith, Charlotte. 1990-1986. Macmillan Dictionary of Anthropology. London, The. Macmillan Press. P92. ISBN 0-333-39334-1. 4 Carat Harris, M. 1988. Culture, People, Nature, An Introduction to General Anthropology, 5th ed. New. York, Harper and Row. pp. 131133. ISBN 0-06-042697-7. 5 Carat Harris, M. 1975. Mother Cow. Cows, Pigs, Wars and Witches, The Riddles of Culture. London. Hutchinson and Company pp. 1132. ISBN 0-09-122750-X. 6 Carat Harris, M. 1988, pp. 468469. 7 Carat Harris, M. 1977. Cannibals and Kings, The Origins of Cultures. New York, Vintage. ISBN 0-394-40,761. 8 Carat Harris, M. 1975. The Savage Male. Cows, Pigs, Wars and Witches, The Riddles of Culture. Random House. pp. 83107. ISBN 9780394483382. 9 Carat Giulio Angiani, Fair, Dyer, Centire, Neuro, Il Maestrale, 2011. 10 Carat Elwell, Frank, The 1st of June, 2001. Marvin Harris Cultural Materialism. Dr. Frank Elwell. Retrieved. The 17th of January, 2023. 11 Carat Public Anthropology. Archived from the original on the 1st of January, 2009. Retrieved the 1st of April, 2009. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 12 Carat Marvin Harris archived the 7th of December 2006 at the Wayback Machine culturalmaterialism.org accessed the 27th of May 2008 throughout the 1960s and 1970s Harris and his family lived in Leonia New Jersey which borders Fort Lee right across the Hudson River from Upper Manhattan 13 Carat Profile of Harris. Archived from the original on the 3rd of January, 2006. Retrieved the 4th of June, 2017. At University of Florida, accessed 2006. External links, edit. Marvin Harris's Cultural Materialism. Cultural Materialism. The African Activist Archive Project website includes the pamphlet Portugal's African Wards, a first-hand report on labor and education in Mozambique by Marvin Harris. Second printing July 1960, published by the American Committee on Africa. Categories, 1927 births 2001 deaths Columbia College, New York, alumni. Columbia University faculty people from Leonia, 
New Jersey University of Florida faculty. 20th Century American Writers 20th Century American Anthropologists Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.